Hello everyone, I'm back and uh, today I'm going to uh, show you my new acquisition but before that I just want to talk to you about my new setup and uh, I'm showing my face and I don't know where to look because I'm I try not to look at the viewfinders because I don't like it when I watch videos that people keep staring at their viewfinders but I understand I now understand how hard it is to to stare at this one little dot um, but anyways I'll try all right and so uh, if you follow me on Instagram you'll know uh, what bag I'm gonna talk about but uh, I'm gonna talk about this bag and it is a vintage MS of course if you can tell from the old um, dust bag and the color and uh, it is my vintage Birkin 30 in uh, navy blue uh, gold hardware now I don't know the exact name the exact name for this color but it's a navy blue and uh, gold hardware and uh, the condition is not perfect of course and it's like a, an old vintage it's not uh, like a close to new one the condition is just all right and there's some missing stitching here and uh, you see some tear here just small tear uh, and I think it's acceptable for this price and I'm very happy with this purchase the only thing is when I got it it had this very strong smell uh, but I let it out and I just put the bag you know, just put just put it out and use it a few times and now it's getting better so I'm very happy about that uh, I also washed the dust bag because I found out that the smell came from this dust bag like when I tried to smell the bag it was so strong I almost fainted so I hand washed this bag and um, so that's why the color is not very even but I had to wash it yeah I had to wash it so that's uh, I hope the smell goes away soon and uh, yeah I'm, I'm not gonna go over the detail because this is like you know you, you've all seen many um, Hermes uh, like measurements and uh, different you know showing off the, the different details uh, videos on YouTube so I'm just gonna show you what I got and uh, this is like an Epsom uh, leather and the thing about buying second hand is that they can never confirm what exact color it is um, and what exact leather it is even if they try to um, guess what it is like you will never get a confirmation so I think it is like an Epsom leather or the old version of Epsom um, so I, I have no way to find out really because especially when this has been used for uh, so many times and it's such uh, it, in such a vintage condition it's like you know uh, really well used condition um, I yeah I, I don't really care what le what leather it is uh, as long as it's authentic and uh, so but let's assume that this is Epsom I just want to show you um, that it it stands it stays in shape quite well for a vintage bag like this now the year stamp is right here and it's it, it's a W it's a, a W in a circle here on the tip uh, that's 1993 that's 20 something years old am I right yeah 20 something and it's a very old bag yeah so for this price I'm happy uh, so that's that so when I uh, oh, actually, I also got it with uh, the, the clochette, the matching clochette and the two keys and the lock, the gold lock. Uh, nothing else. Uh, just, just this whole thing with the dust bag. And so I just want to show you how, how this kind of stays in shape quite well, this leather, compared to this. This is super slouchy, right? This is my Togo. Uh, again, Birkin 30. Because this uh, has been used for so many times and I think the previous um, owner used it to carry very heavy stuff. So the handle actually stretched a bit and this part slouched a bit, like like more than it should. So that's why the handle seemed to be a, li 
a little longer than normal. I went to the Hermes, uh, I went to an Hermes and asked them, uh, and they confirmed that it is um, real, like the sales associate that I normally talk to said it's, it's real and it's normal and it happens, especially for uh, softer leather. Uh, it will seem like it has a longer handle, but the handle actually, uh, the handles actually don't stretch. It's just a leather slouching on the bottom. Uh, but yeah, I'll take his word. But anyways, so that's very slouchy, right? But uh, this one, I'm st I'm just sitting it on my palm. You know, it stays in shape. And I also want to show you my Clemence. This is a newer co um, condition, like a newer bag, uh, and a better condition compared to the three. Um, and you can see this stands uh, really nicely. It holds its shape very, very nicely. So now I have three colors. I have the, they're all Birkin 30. So this is the graphite in Clemence leather, silver hardware. And then this is the navy blue in Epsom leather, I think, um, gold hardware. And then this is the black one, Togo leather with silver hardware. So these are the three Birkins that I have. Now you can tell, right? The middle one is navy blue, right? Yes. And can you see me? Hello. Anyways, yeah. Tell me what you think of my new bag. Um, I don't think I'm going to buy another Birkin unless it's a very, very good price. And I'm not gonna buy another dark color because it's, it's going to be very similar. Uh, I'm, you know, if I were to look for another Birkin or if I saw a Birkin with a very good price, it needs to be either like a, like a different color tone, like a reddish tone, uh, maybe a brownish tone. Um, I would like to have a bamboo green uh, with gold hardware, but I don't think it will ever happen. Uh, not for the price that I'm willing to pay. But anyways, um, and uh, did I tell you why I'm showing my face? Because so many people have asked me to show my face and ask me why I'm not showing my face. Uh, they never said anything bad about my face, like, oh, is there something wrong with your face? Not really. They never said anything like that. But I just feel like I feel more engaged uh, every time I watch a video with people showing their faces so I just want to give it a try and see uh, what your reactions are if the reactions are too negative then I'll just you know delete this video it's not the end of the world and I'll keep you know not showing my face so that um, you know I you know you guys feel better uh, watching the videos but anyways tell me what you think of me showing my face and tell me what you, you think of the Birkins and uh, if you have any questions uh, please ask me down below I'm I'm not an expert um, I I don't um, yeah I, I, I don't have enough knowledge to uh, answer a lot of questions but I can just uh, kind of tell you uh, what I think how I feel about the you know, different things that I have. And uh, so if you have any questions, just let me know. Um, and I really, really want to thank a few uh, viewers who emailed me and uh, messaged me telling me that uh, some other people stole my uh, videos and um, and kind of edited it and uh, to, and renamed it and things like that. And, and um, I really, really appreciate you telling me um, I couldn't find that message. I, I don't know. I couldn't go back to that message to thank, thank you. So if you're watching, uh, if you've once reminded me, uh, told me that my video was used by another uh, person, uh, I thank you so so much. And um, I reported the case to eBay. And not not eBay, not eBay, not eBay. Stop thinking about eBay. Stop uh, to YouTube and. Um, they took down that video so thank you so so much and i'm so sorry that i lost your message um otherwise i i would have thanked you uh in person like um like emailing you or texting you back um uh, but i'm so sorry i lost that uh email so thank you so much for telling me and thank you so much for watching this video and uh if you have any questions just leave it on the comments and if you have anything to say just just leave it on the comments down below and uh subscribe to the channel if you haven't already um follow me on instagram and uh, i'll see you again next time bye